Yo, it's good YouTubers, boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'll be breaking down a loop that I made for somebody like Little Dirt. Let's get right into it. First off, this is what the loop sounds like. If you want this loop, go down below in the link in the description. Go to my Patreon. $5 a month to get all the FLPs to my videos. So the first thing I did with this loop was I made this piano. This is what it sounds like. So first off, this piano VST is out of contact and it's the grand door. And it's not gonna show right here, but it's the ultra bright grand door. And the first thing I did with it was I laid down the chords and these are what the chords sound like by itself. And it's literally the same thing. And how I did this was first I made the chords that I wanted to use, which were these two right here and the third one down here. All it is is one, two, three, four, five. The sixth note, and then just pitch this bottom up right here. Do right here, and then pitch it up. And then after that, I added another note on top. And this is pretty much the same chord right here. It's a little different and it's copied down one. And then I just drug this chord right back over. Drug this over. And this right here, I didn't really know exactly what to do, but as you can see, it's the same chord, except instead of this top note being up here, it says sound like this. I didn't really like that, so I drug the note down. And I also wanted to lead right back up into it by stepping up, but I didn't want to have the same exact uh, notes. So it'd been like this. So instead, I just left the top note off. And then you can see it's pretty much the same stuff going down. And the only things that I did after that was just chop the notes. So right here, you can see I chopped it right here. So this is all just playing with velocities and just cutting it. So I started off like this, just a regular note. And I just chopped it here. And then this, I didn't play it out. I just chopped it on the line right here. So instead of it sounding like this, it sounds like that. And it just adds a little bit more, you know, flavor to it. So it's not super simple. And then just another step down and it's pretty simple. And the key about this is the velocity for this, as well as right here. Does it sound as good if I don't have it all the way down? And then it's just a simple pattern right here. And then once again, I copied it over, went over here. And usually you'll see people play out top notes. And some of my favorite loops are from people like AO Blue and AP Wee. And they play out all their top notes. And it almost sounds like blues, but I'm not that talented to play it out on the keyboard. So I just went with uh, clicking it in. And I did this for all of them. So I'll just break down this first section and with this you can see it's just going it's just run to the scale instead of it being like this I pitched it pitched it up so I pitched it up right there and then I just copied it over instead I went and then I went down instead of just extending it out and I added just the other note. So it really went up and then right back down.
and you can see it's literally pretty much the same thing right here except just copied up after that i added this little other part and i like having chords up here at the top so you can see how it hits and that is really i don't know what it is but i like at the end when it has chords up there so i have that and then i went right back down into the other notes same thing from over here now you can see i also added a little switch up right here and that is it almost sounds like a little bit of blues in there instead of it sounding like that i pitched this up and i brought the velocity down you can see it all the way down here And it's pretty much the same thing. The run comes right here and then I copied it over. And then once again, I switched up the ending and this is what it sounds like. Same thing, just copied up and literally it, it looks the same. I think pretty sure it's just pitched up five. Like it's not that uh, difficult. And then the second thing was I just switched it up and it's literally the same chords. It's just switched up a little bit. Same thing. That's just so I can add this almost like a breakdown section. And it is just these chords in the first right here. It's that, but just copied over to another pattern and everything else is the same with that. And next I added this guitar that you can hear. This is what it's gonna sound like. So this guitar is once again out of contact. It is the Evolution Infinity at faster lead. And so in here, all I did was play out, or not play out, I clicked in all these notes and then I just went into right here and put the pitch range up to 12 and then went on my automation wheel and just messed with it right here. That's how I got all the bins in it. My advice for this is just click it out. Unless you can play it, click it out. It's much easier to do it that way and then just mess with it after. And so for this, it's literally just following like the top notes of the piano. It's pretty simple. And then after that, I added this bass. This is what it sounds like. So the bass is out of contact once again. It is the night session preset and the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. Probably the most popular bass VST, probably in the world, honestly. I mean, it's it's super popular. Everybody uses it for pain beats, especially, and as well as like NBA Youngboy type beats. So the main thing about this is just making it interesting. It's just following the pattern that I have in the main uh, piano melody, and then all these little licks at the end. The tip with this is just have the notes overlap and be close together. Like if it's like all, all the way up here, it's not going to do that, but it slides if they're close together and then just do runs in the scale. And then once again over here, and also you can make it a little interesting with stuff like this, as well as like if you add this little stop right here, but it didn't really fit in this one. So I didn't do it. And then just add some more runs and everything's copied back over. And after that, it's just textures and little extra things to put on top of it. So I added a pad. And it's just following all of the chords from the main pattern. I literally just deleted all the top notes and kept the chords in there. And I had to render it out because it kept bugging on me. And then after that, I added some more little textures in here. Kind of sounds like a Rhodes. It's out of Omnisphere. And it just adds a little bit of texture to it. So you can hear it right here. just texture to add in the background 
And then after that, I added this little uh, wah chant from Exclusive Made This, and that's what it sounds like. It literally just serves as like ambient noise in the background. So you can hear it right here. And then with the pad, it just adds another layer. And then the last two things I added was this little texture. Little perk loop. And then I added a crash. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video to the end. If you've liked it, go ahead and like, subscribe. Leave a comment telling me what you want me to do in the next video. Once again, if you want the stuff up, go down in the description below. Go to my Patreon. Until next time, peace.